If you are looking to build bigger glutes but you don't have the fancy hip thrust machine or the barbells, stick around. I got four simple exercises to build your glutes at home. First up, I'm gonna show you a simple way to do hip thrust at home using a 41 inch loop style resistance band. And then all you need is like a bench or a couch or an ottoman, just something that you can rest your back on. So to set this up, grab yourself a 41 inch band, and then you're gonna loop it in half, and then we're gonna stick our feet in both of these loops. So we start out, loop it basically right around the midsole of our foot, and then we're gonna basically bend over, and we're gonna hoist this thing up and tuck it right into our hip area. So there's gonna be some tension on this thing. And you're gonna tuck it up here so that it doesn't slide off, <clears throat> and then we're gonna work our way off the bench or ottoman or couch and rest kind of like the mid portion of our spine just below our scapulas and then we're going to be doing hip thrusts. So to get the most out of the hip thrusts, we're going to basically pull our core in tight, get our feet pulled up underneath of us so that the band is pulling us down into the hip flexion position and then we're going to squeeze our glutes and drive those hips all the way up, pushing our pelvis up straight up to that ceiling, squeezing those glutes as tight as possible, and then let it down nice and slow, and keeping that nice slow tempo and big squeeze and shoot for a full range of motion. If you're not getting a full extension, you might need to drop that resistance down or work on st stretching out those hip flexors so that you can drive your hips and squeeze those glutes all the way up. Next up, we have another hip hinge exercise. We're gonna be doing some kneeling hip thrusts. So what you're going to need for this is a low anchor point. So I'm using a wall anchor, but you can use like a door anchor strap or wrap a band around a post. Whatever you can find to anchor to will work just fine as long as it's stationary and pretty rigid. And I'm gonna use a single 41 inch band here, looping it around my anchor point. And I'm kind of using one of the heavier bands just because generally you're gonna be a little bit stronger with hip thrusts, but I would say pick the resistance that's according for you. And to get into this thing, you're just gonna step right into it and loop that band right around your waist, get everything nice and comfortable. And then we're gonna kneel down on the floor. So I have like a, a balance pad, but you can use like a pillow or you know whatever you have laying around that's got cushion to it, to help with the knees. And then make sure that you're getting far enough away from the anchor point that the band is giving you considerable tension and pulling you into this, this hip flexion position. And that's the whole goal of this exercise. We're gonna be doing hip hinges. So to set this up, making sure that band is right in a comfortable spot. And we got tension here pulling us into that flex position. I'm working away my, my way out a little bit more here. And then to do the exercise, we're gonna start down in this hip hinged position. And then we're gonna drive forward just like we did on the last hip, hip extension, pushing those glutes, hips forward, big squeeze. So right here, you should feel a big squeeze in those glutes, thrusting those hips forward away from the anchor point. And let it down nice and slow. <sighs> big squeeze, thrusting it all the way forward. And it can take a little bit to get used to this exercise, but once you get the hang of it and get in the right spot, you should really feel a good glute engagement at the top of that rep, and then it's pulling all the way down. And usually I like to do a few sets of like eight to 15 reps, pyramid that resistance up, and you're gonna notice a great glute burn. All right, next up, we're gonna do some glute kickbacks. Once again, all you need is a single 41 inch resistance band. This one, we're gonna be using a little bit lower resistance because the lever arm is gonna get longer. And then also, we're gonna be down on the floor. So either do this on the carpet or I have like a yoga mat, whatever you have laying around, it should work just fine as long as it's comfortable to kneel on. To set it up, we're gonna hook in one leg at a time. And then we're gonna wrap the band kind of around our hands. I can, you can either wrap it around your thumbs or you can kind of wrap it around your wrists, whatever is the most comfortable for you. And then we're gonna get down on all fours into kind of a tabletop position here. So we want our arms basically straight vertically underneath of our shoulders. And then we're gonna be pulling our core in tight and keeping that pelvis tucked 
and secure. I don't want you to be hyper extending that pelvis like this as we kind of go through. So you're gonna focus on pulling that core in, pulling that pelvis down, keeping it tucked. And then all we're doing is we're gonna kick out low and long is what I like to call it. So you're gonna basically keep that foot as close to the ground as possible. And then as you get further back, we're straightening that leg, keeping our pelvis tucked. And then you should feel right at that end of the rep, really engage that glute and you're gonna feel it right here. It's really hard for me to do while we're on camera, but basically come back up, exhale, low and long, and squeeze that glute, keeping that pelvis tucked. Nice and slow and controlled. And you'll really feel it at the top of that rep as we're kicking out, keeping that core pulled in tight, keeping that pelvis tucked, and then to switch legs, we're just gonna put our other foot in and go to the other side. Same thing, kicking it straight back, feeling that glute at the very end, keeping that pelvis tucked. Big squeeze, let it down nice and slow. And once again, a few sets, eight to 15 reps and keeping that resistance high enough so that you're getting a good engagement while still being able to maintain that, that low pelvis and keeping your core pulled in tight. All right, last up, another simple exercise. All you need for this one is a 13 inch mini band and we're gonna wrap it basically just above our knees and we're gonna do some lateral walks or crab walks as some people will call them. And what that's gonna do is target that glute medius on the outside of the glute because we're going to be doing some abduction. So all the other exercises that we did were kind of like hip hinge exercises. Now we're gonna be doing some abduction where we're basically taking that humerus and abducting it out away. And what the muscle group that controls that is the glute medius. So setting these up, I like to get in kind of this athletic squat stance. And then I just do side to side walks. And what I try to do is abduct as far as I can or step as far as I can without my knee starting to crash inwards. So you wanna be able to be strong and keeping this vertical, basically your knees vertically over your feet. I don't want that knee crashing in like this. Either that means you're stepping too far or you have too much resistance when your knee starts crashing in like that. So you wanna be strong and we're athletic squat stance, squeezing these glutes and abducting both of our legs here. And then we step together, stepping out, step together, out. And you can just keep doing this. Nice, slow and controlled and stay nice and low as you're doing this. That'll get more glutes involved because we're stretching them out with that hip hinge. And your body's gonna wanna stand up further and further as this gets harder and harder. Fight to stay low and controlled big squeeze and if you do 15 20 of these walking like my glutes are already getting pumped up just from doing that another way that you can do these is seated so it's the same exercise except you'll just sit down on a box and do the abduction that way and it'll work basically the same way i like to mix in a little bit of both just to keep it fresh but you can do whatever one is most comfortable for you if you wanna speed up your glute gains, I recommend adding these exercises into your workouts at least once or twice a week. You can mix and match the exercises, throw them into your glutes or hamstring stays, or you can make an entire glute workout just using these four exercises, and I guarantee you, you will see some results. So if you like this video, be sure to smash that like button. Also, if you wanna see more content like this, check out the on-screen video links. We got tons of content on our channel just like this. Furthermore, if you need any of the bands or accessories shown today, head over to clenchfitness.com. We will hook you up and thank you for watching.